What's up, everybody? Fravis here with another episode of Magic Tools Origins, and we have a... Whoa, whoa wait, wait, wait. wait. That's just, wow. What happened to Magic Tools Origins? Holy shit. Oh, wait. No, I... Uh, this isn't Magic Tools Origins? What? This is... This is fucking MTGO. What? No, Magic Tools Origins took a real downturn in their, uh, in their graphics department, but... Uh, for some reason, you know what? I, I feel like drafting. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna draft. And in case anybody um, doesn't know what drafting is, uh, well, then this video is for you. And I'm, I'm gonna teach you right now. Uh, first of all, you need to, uh, and by the way, I, I highly suggest uh, drafting. MTGO is uh, fairly more expensive than, <laughs> significantly more expensive than uh, Magic Duels. But, and not only is it more expensive, it, it also looks like um, ass, as you're about to see, um, but it's more in depth. I don't know how to explain it to you, so I'm gonna do my best to try to show you all the new cards, what's going on, uh, walk you through it uh, as if you were a new player, and maybe maybe you like it as much as I do. I mean, this is actually probably my second favorite format um, to play Magic in. The first, obviously, being Paper Magic, second being this, and the third being Duels, and I know most of my content is actually of Duels, and I mean, I really do like duels, uh, so I mean, I don't know. This is this is better in some ways. Is it, this is a little better in other ways? This is strictly worse. Anyway, um, let's just get to it. So let's say you come on over here. You 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 get um, MTGO. You you buy ten dollars worth of your new pass, and uh, you do all the noob shit. And then uh, we're just gonna go over to the trade section. We're gonna find uh, my my favorite traders, MTGO traders. And then uh, it's going to give us a big list of everyone who has this bullshit. And all these people are assholes. Every one of these assholes. Say, wave to the assholes. Wave to them. Hey, you fucker. Hey, bye. You're an asshole. You're an asshole. Ah, here we go. The real, actual MTGO. Uh, and I got to find one that's open. There's one. There's an open bot. We're going to go on in there. We're going to wait till it opens up. It's actually an automated bot. It's an automated system. Well, uh, This is going to have all the uh, cards that it has to sell. Uh, I don't want to deal with that. I'm going to go to its other products. I'm going to go to sealed products, and I want a couple of Battle for Zendikar boosters. And here we go. We got, we got. They have six of them. I have one of them. I need three for the draft that I want. So I'm going to go there. He's automatically sending me uh, messages. Uh, he wants two tickets. I'll say that's fine. He'll go get the two tickets that I have to trade. I don't have enough tickets. Never mind. Let's go to my collection first. <laughs> That's right. Oh, okay, okay. So what you want to do... Um, okay, sorry. So what you want to do is go to active trade. I got nothing in the active trade. So we're going to put a couple of things down here. One ticket down there, two tickets down there. And you know what? Let's just, let's just add them all because that's a hell of a lot easier. Anyway, so now we're going back to trade. We're going to go back to that open buy bot. That's not a buy bot. It's a regular bot. I'm going to ask it for sealed product. I'm going to want two Battle for Zenikar boosters because I already have one. It says I have one here, and they have three for sale. I took two of them, and everything looks good. He's going to want seven and a half tickets for me. I confirm. That's eight tickets. I get some store credit from that, and I confirm the trade. Bada bing, bada boom. Got the tickets. There's my tickets. Now we're going over to Play Lobby. Now I've done this before. Normally there's Constructed. I don't really like Constructed. We're going to Limited because that's what I like. We're going, we're not going to do the six packs. We're only going to do the three because that's all that we have. And I'm going to look. Phantom Swiss. Perfect. Oh, this Phantom. Phantom is for new players. That's right. You can't go to the Phantom because that's for newbies. Newbie boobies. Uh, let's do a Swiss. Um, a lot of differentiation here. There's single elimination, which means if you lose once, you're out. And then there's uh, Swiss, which means you can play all three rounds. That's the one we're going to join. We're in here with all these people. And I'm going to do my best to show you guys all the new cards that will be coming out for duels. Don't say, don't pretend like I'm uh, not going to be doing duels content. I will still be doing duels content. I'm just going to show you how terrible I am at draft. Now, all these cards, I will, not all the cards, but uh, some particular cards I will get to keep. Um, be ready with that pause button. I'm just going to, I'm just going to scroll through these so that you guys can read them all. I know already what I'm going to pick. And then you guys can take a look uh, whenever you want so that you're more familiar with these cards 
be ready with that pause button. I'm definitely taking Eldrazi uh, Sky Spawner because, in my opinion, it's the best common in the game. None of these rare cards really are working for me. I don't really care for any of them. Uh, this is a decent removal. Not great. This is a little bit better, depending on the kind of deck that you're running. Everything else, oh, obviously Bone Splinter. Some of you might uh, remember that from Duels uh, 2015, I think. Uh, it's definitely going to be the Sky Spawner. That's, that's probably my favorite one. So I take my pick out of the pack. See, we're on the first pack of three. So I just opened one pack, looked at it, picked a card, and I passed it here. I passed it to this guy, uh, Warlord Merkic. Mer Merkit. Nice name. And then they're all going to be passing their own pack. Everybody here opened a pack, and they're going to pass it to their left. And then I'm waiting now on this dude. Don't know his name. And he just passed me this pack. Let's see. So obviously there's one less card in here. Uh, I'll go through it real quick. Uh, again, be ready with that pause button, you guys. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna do this every time. Not 100% sure what I want. Uh, the Nettle Drone looks good. Smite the Monstrous is a great uh, removal. I would like some bombs. That is a bomb, but it costs seven. I don't really like. Uh, probably white is the strongest color overall, but I'm not sure I want to go in white right now. Uh, Kozilek's Channeler is a great great card, but I don't want to second pick it. It's a little early for me. Uh, I kind of like the Nettle Drone. Honestly, I'm sort of leaning towards it. But then again, Smite the Monsters is a really nice removal. Um, I already have a three drop. This is a four drop. No, I'm going to grab Nettle Drone. That's where I'm going. Sorry, guys. Uh, so already I'm sort of focusing around uh, the sort of cards that I'm uh, the sort of deck that I'm going to be making uh, anticipate actually I think I overvalue anticipate I really do like it none of these really do it for me again be ready for those that fucking pause button I'm not going to do this all the time but I'm going to do it uh, for my duels buddies who <laughs> you know I know you guys are like looking at the screen like what the fuck is going on anticipate is really good I like it the other option in this pack would be Wave Wing Elemental. 3-4 flying for 6 with Landfall. Uh, honestly, I'm leaning towards the Anticipate right now, so I think I'm going to pick that. Uh, this is good for a Landfall deck. That's great for a Life Gain deck. That's just a big old beater. we got some Instant Speed guys here. Nothing. I'm not seeing anything that I really like. Uh, there is a counter... And then, and then the Bailoth. Let me think about this counter. Unless its opponent pays four, if it's countered that way. All right, so it's a it's a three drop instant speed removal. I really don't like this whole thing. Um, jeez, I don't I don't like any of these cards, honestly. Rune processor is okay. I don't have any way to to process back from exile. Ugh, I don't like any of these. I'm going to just take Rune Processor because he's still a 7 8 for 7. He's still a big old motherfucker. Uh, one more time. Going down this guy. Not one more time. Boop, 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 boop. Sheer Drop is probably my favorite card here. I uh, didn't really want to move into white, but it's just getting passed to me, and it looks like all the red is he's getting eaten up already. So definitely going to grab the Sheer Drop. Good removal. Has Awaken. Uh, if I do end up getting to six mana, I will be able to really pop somebody in the in the shockers. <laughs> pop them in the shockers. Come on, come on, MTGO. There we go, buddy. There we go, buddy. <laughs> oh, nice job. Mmm, man, this is really annoying. Oh wait, I can just do this, can't I? Yep, sure can. And you're a two drop, so you're moving up here. And you're a seven drop, so I'm gonna put you way over here. All right, we got a foil blighted step. Don't really want that. Uh, spawning bed. Da, da, da. Looks like somebody's eating up all the red, so I'm not going to be going in that direction, which makes me kind of sad. Uh, natural connection is great in that aggressive. Man, we are getting some shitty cards today. Wow, these are not. Uh, this is not the best way to go. I don't know what the best. Um, actually, yeah, it's probably going to be McKinney Control Patrol. Excuse me. Silent Skimmer isn't bad either. And I do have a couple of... Yeah, all right. Let's 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 stay somewhat aggressive. That's what I'll take. 
I mean, Nettle Drone is aggressive. Eldrazi Sky Spawner can be pretty aggressive. Silent Skimmer seems like the way I'm going to go. But right now I'm in uh, a bunch of different colors that I don't want to be in, which really makes me upset. Just running through. Salvage Drone is a possibility. Sel uh, Spell Shrivel is also a possibility. Looks like blue is open, I think. Not a lot of people are grabbing that. Uh, I do like Salvage Drone, but I'm not going to grab it as my first pick. I would much rather grab the uh, Spell Shrivel or even the Wave Wing because I don't have a lot on top end. I only have a lot of like lower cost cards, and I still want to stick with that blue because I think blue so far is the most open that I have. Ugh. I don't like that card at all. That card is pretty much the biggest removal that we have, other than there, there is a white card that sort of Rex face, but uh, I'm not going that. I might take that second sheer drop just for some more removal. Kozilex Chandler isn't bad at all, especially now. Mm. I already have a sheer drop. I'm not sure I'm going white. Yeah, I'm taking the Chandler. I'm not 100% sold on going white right now. I have one sheer drop, but I think I only picked that because it was the best in the pack. Bone Splinter is not really what I want. Blood Hunter, not what I want. None of these are really anything I want. I could take a second rune processor for some reason. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to start wheeling. So I'm not, I'm not going to zoom in anymore. I don't like any of these, you guys. <laughs> I hate them all. I hate them all. I really do. I don't like, I don't like any of this. Uh, I'm going to take this combat trick just because it's there. I don't really want to play against it just in case because they're all... I, I hate combat tricks. They always fucking wreck my shit. Uh, I'm going to put it in here. I'm probably cutting red. I, d I think there's too many people eating up red, so I want to throw this uh, Nettle Drone in the sideboard. Way too many people going that, that route. Another flyer. So I guess I'm going white-blue flyers. That looks like what it, what's happening. Um, so it's right now between Courier Griffin and Kozilek's Channeler. Uh, I'm not going to zoom in on all the cards yet because everything here you've seen before. Because this is back to the pack that I, I was in before. So what do I want? A 5-drop or a 4-drop? I already have a Channeler, so I'm going to grab another one uh, just to try to diversify a little bit. I don't want to like pick up too many Channelers. And I'd like, to make, I'd like to make this little curve nice out. Nice little curve. Ooh, Eldrazi Devastator is way better than Ruin, Ruin Processor. Ruin Processor, excuse me. Uh, and actually, I would... I had some bad picks this 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 turn. This is the only this is the only card I'd, I'd even want out of on this. On honestly, I would probably dump Rune Processor. Uh, this card not as good as you might think. In fact, I don't want any of these. I'm just taking the land. Fuck it. Oh, someone else took the land. <laughs> um okay well i'll take uh that's not a bad card so i'll take that just in case uh, again i'm gonna grab the land and then someone else took the land too so i'll just grab that actually this is a playable card so i will throw this in here just in case i have something that doesn't fly i can give it flying and this does cantrip so you can actually grab another thing i'm sorry if i'm going a little too fast for you guys i know uh i know this might be wild and crazy stuff this is a shitty land i don't want that i don't want that at all uh yeah how often is that gonna happen um, Reclaimer, yeah, but I need to process. I gotta foil one of those, that's kind of nice. Another Sky Spawner, that's probably the pick. Fertile Thicket. Ooh, I do like this, but I don't think I'm playing red anymore. I think someone else is definitely eating it. I'm getting some massive signals that, that somebody's playing red, so I think... I do like Evolving Wilds. That goes really well uh, in the Landfall deck, and in several decks, actually. Snapping Gnarlet is probably the best... Uh, "Quote unquote bear, not really a bear because he's got an ability uh, in the game." Ulamog's reclaimer, not terrible, but I'm not gonna play it. No, it's definitely Sky Spawner. That's just the way it's gonna be, man. Uh, two of these guys. That's probably the most powerful common. Uh, this can be a money card uh, because there are some people eating it. So I might actually just pick that just for the money. Uh, on the other hand, here's fucking Halimar Tidecaller. Uh, so I don't think I can let that go either. Incubator drone. I got a bunch of, uh, bunch of shit I don't really care about. Uh, I think it's going to be the tide caller, unfortunately. Um, you got a lot of good landfall creatures down in here. 
it, it's it's between Bring to Light and Halimar Tide Caller. Bring to Light, I would only grab uh, for money. Halimar Tide Caller is probably the pick though, because uh, this card just fucking wins. It it just wins games. Sorry, that's a decent card. Alter's Reef, you guys should know about. Felidar Cub might be the pick here. Probably going to have to dump that other Silent Skimmer, because I don't think I, I... I could splash a little black. Actually, no, wait, what am I talking about? I'm doing the Waken now. Yeah, that this is actually... Rush of Ice is probably the grab here. Um, Felidar Cub... How are my two drops? My two drops are a little lacking. This is actually a five drop, but the problem is now that... I mean, I could go with the Awaken, the whole Awaken theme, and then... Because oh, I could do this twice, potentially. Yeah, I'm going to grab this. My five drops are a little bit lacking anyway. And we're going to get rid of the Silent Skimmer because we don't need no the, that. Hello. Did I seriously break? Well, I did. All right, guys. So uh, unfortunately, the game crashed in, you know, classic MTGO style. So uh, I, I lost the draft process. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I did work kind of hard on it, but uh, we will at least get to see the games, and this is a keepable hand in my opinion, and I will show you why, because uh, all the non-land cards, I will zoom in, get ready with that pause button, uh, if you're not sure what the card is, I will be happy to show you, and then just straight past turn to this guy. Uh, so yeah, what I'm going to be doing, every time uh, a card you may not know, I'm going to go in there, zoom in, show you exactly what it does. I will pass priority to him. And then you will have to be ready with your pause button to stop that shit from happening. So this guy is obviously going in for lands. Don't know the kind of player he is. Don't know anything about him other than his name, which is Koya Daria. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, if he had creatures out, I would put down my wall. Since he doesn't, I'm going to be a little more aggressive and put down a 2-2. Anticipate will get me something that I need when I know what I need. I don't know what I need, so I won't play Anticipate. <laughs> How about that? Don't know what's going on here. Little Felidar Cub will be useful popping uh, any enchantments. I think I'm running two of them. I think I am running two of them, actually. Uh, anticipate, I guess, is like a poor man's uh, telling time, maybe? Not really poor man's. It's the same cost, isn't it? Oh, that's a bomb but uh, I don't have anything that'll actually uh, sync with it. So he is playing Golgari. The strategy of this deck generally, that, that not necessarily that this guy got all the right pieces for it, but what I generally see with this deck is for my opponent to go wide with a bunch of little creatures, specifically these guys, and he is going to flood the board and then hopefully sacrifice a ton of them to grab to grab some big, horrible bomb that I'm not going to be able to deal with. That's that's what he's going to do. Hopefully, that's not what he's going to get to do, but that's what he wants to do. <laughs> ha -ho! I'm considering whether or not I want to play Halimar Tidecaller next turn. Whenever he gains life... Okay, so no, he's actually playing the life game deck. A little different. Actually, massively different. Totally, totally different. Considering things. Can't really swing in uh, with anything other than the flyer right now. Uh, if I do, then he'll just block it and instantly kill it. So that makes me sad. So just going to get in there for two. Drop my land. And now I will either put down this guy who won't do anything. Hmm. I need another land to do anything. I'm, I'm going to actually... I'm going to hold off, and I'm going to play the telling time sort of thing, anticipate on his turn. I think that's the best move. All right, so he's not playing the, the deck that I was describing. He's actually playing something a little different. He's permanently... Not permanently. He's tapping my creature, the one that flies, that's dealing him two damage for a turn. So he's going to save himself... Two to four damage, depending. Then he's dropping his druid. So he's ramping up right now, which is not bad. 
uh, for me. I mean, it's okay. He still has five cards in hand. End step, I will tell time. And I will put one of these in my hand. And it's definitely, definitely going to be Cloud Manta. Because I want to smack him where he can't stop it. Ooh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. I just got mana for Kozilek's Channeler. Uh, I still... I still want to play this, though. And that's exactly what I did. And then I'm just passing turn because there's nothing I can do right now. Nothing at all. Next turn, I will hit him for 5, though. And putting him to 11, so he's actually in a bit of trouble. A little bit. Itty bit. But he's got a ton of colors here. I mean, you don't normally see this, honestly. I mean, where, where he is he playing some kind of like five color converge deck or something? I mean, technically, he already has all five colors. He can just tap this for a uh, red. I mean, he just threw in everything. I mean, it's not really the kind of deck uh, I, I'd, I'd expect to see. So, uh, seeing this, I'm expecting some kind of converge or something. Something? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm a little confused. I didn't realize how wide I'm going. Oh, and there's an enchantment that I can destroy whenever the hell I want. Do I want to? He can drain me. And he can give something death touch, sort of, kind of. Huh. I'm not that worried about it. So I don't think I'm going to do anything about it. But it is a possibility. Second main phase, he has three, la uh, three mana potential. Oh, he put another one down. I, I was saying, like, how did he activate this? He didn't. No, no, he didn't. He just put down another one. That's okay. Not the biggest deal in the universe. Ooh. This is uh this is a good turn of events for me. Sorry, in case you didn't know what that was, Tightning Coil 06, so he just turned his single blocker into a 03 wall with Death Touch. And Death Touch is pretty fucking useless right now. And we are swinging in with Er body, er body, oh god! I do have enough to drop my Halimar Tide Caller. He is making the sensible block, stopping the uh, two two from happening. He cannot kill it because it does not. It doesn't do jack shit. <laughs> doesn't do anything. Since I do want to put down more creatures, I am considering Tide Drifter. Uh, but honestly, it doesn't do anything for me. He can't touch any of these guys. Let's see. Next turn will be Channeler. Channeler. Actually, yeah, I should do it. Because next turn, I'm going to want to put down my Kozilek's Channeler. Okay. I do want this guy down so that uh, his Life Spring Druid... Actually, it doesn't make a difference, does it? Because his Life Dr Spring Druid is uh, two in the, in the fists. <clears throat> Well, regardless, he is in a bit of trouble right now. Uh, he's got to stop down, uh, stop these guys the best way he can. I don't know how he's going to do it. It's not like I'm swinging in with this guy yet. Not for a while, anyway. And it, I know it says Drifter, so you would expect that it could fly, but it doesn't have any power anyway, so maybe Drifter. I mean, actually, Drifter, maybe, the, yeah, because it's actually, it looks more like a, a Man of War, so it's a jellyfish, so maybe Drifter, like, in the ocean, so I guess that would be. But, but... If it's in the ocean, then how the hell is it fighting, like, cats and allies and elves and shit? Like, what are they doing in the water? Whatever. This guy's thinking, which I don't blame him at all. He's not in the best shape. He can double up so he can give both his creatures uh, a useless death touch, or more likely to drain me two life, and that's exactly what he has chosen to do. Each opponent loses one life, and you gain one life, so I'm going to go to 18. He's going to go to 12. Seems like a good play. <laughs> Seems like the right way to go, frankly. Again, I could pop one of those things. Slow him down doing that, but I don't want to right now. I Because 
if this guy does end up hitting I mean he's letting other damage through I don't know guys I don't know maybe I should do it I'm not really threatened by these okay so he gave that death touch not that that does oh no 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 he has another one <laughs> what did this guy play honestly what did this guy play man very confused uh, I will gain one life for each creature I control. Okay. I should do that now. That's... Oh, wait. I can't afford that. I need six. <laughs> well, I can afford that. And I will. Remember, you can sack these little guys. Pop. 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 And swing it for five in the air. Now, is there any reason to kill one of those things? He can gain two. But I'm going to hit him for nine. Unless he stops one of my creatures. Do you think he can stop one of my creatures? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think he can. I don't think he can. He'll drain me for two. I'm at 21. He's at nine. But then again, he's getting hit for nine. I will admit, it's possible I did a misplay without popping one of these guys instantly. I'm not sure if I should have. Uh, that's definitely the big thing. At worst, I think I've bought him another turn. But I don't think it matters. I think I got him anyway. He only has two cards in hand. Shit, man. I mean, I'll just swing for exactly lethal now. See what he does. He hasn't... He hasn't ran off. So maybe he has that instant speed drop a land, and then he can drain me for two? What's he got? Nothing? No, he's got some... Oh, I didn't see this. <laughs> of course he can. Oh, man, that sucks. So, yeah, he did buy himself another turn. He bought himself another turn. That's fine. Would he have... Yeah, that's... All right. Future reference, you guys. Popping Felidar Cub to kill this guy... Definitely what you should have done. What you should do. Uh, now he's selecting the order at which that these things have to go. So he's going to gain four and I'm going to lose four. And I'm just going to yield to all of these. And I'll yield to these two because it's boring. <laughs> Hello. Didn't I do that? Oh, do I have to do each individual one? This isn't winning him the game. Whoops. This is just keeping him alive for an extra turn. I have another... I have a fucking courier griffin that's coming down for him right now. Oh, God, this is annoying. <laughs> Holy shit. Yes, I know. We all know. Do you have any actual plays? I don't even need to drop my fucking courier griffin right now, do I? I don't, so I won't. Instead, I'm going to put down my Causalex channel Channeler, and I'm just going to pass turn. Oh, boy. He's going to maybe gain another two life, but unless he's drawn something that's going to get him out of this, which I have... I mean... He's pretty much every color but red, so I have a hard time imagining what he could possibly have. I mean, I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's the opposite of that. He can have anything, right? Like, shit. He's all the fucking colors, for God's sakes. Always yield, please. Just always yield. Stop asking me. I don't care. I know. I know that that's happening. He, he ends the turn. That's fine. Uh, I'll just show him that I have nothing, see what's coming up. He had a whole bunch of nothing coming up himself. Yeah, 
it 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 was over. It was just over. Uh, do I want to sideboard anything in? Mm, possibly the spell shrivel. I don't really care about a lot of what he had. I'm surprised actually at how much shit I did have, and I feel like some combat tricks might be necessary. So what can I dump for a combat trick? I'm willing to actually dump an Undo Rising for one combat trick. Just one. Now we're going to wait for him to uh, do all of his sideboarding. Hopefully he, he cuts it down to... <laughs> I mean, I, maybe he can cut down a color. I hope he can, because that he, he picked a lot of... Uh, he, he picked a lot of things, you guys. Maybe Maybe too many things, in my opinion. Way too many things. Uh, while we're waiting, we can take a look at everybody else and see how they're doing. Uh, this guy did a whole bunch of nothing. Uh, this guy lost a game. Or no, won a game, sorry. Or th yeah, when they're on the right-hand side, they win. But not so when it's over here. I don't know why they flip it around. It's really stupid. This is who he, who he lost against? Nope, this is someone else's game. Cute. Okay. So... Few, most people are on game two. You can tell that only these two guys are, are still playing their first game. You know what? What, what am I what am I wasting your time for? I'll just uh, wait until the action starts again.